Alright, today I'm going to be making a pretty big smoothie with a bunch of stuff I need to get rid of, some carrots. I'm not going to be able to get rid of all those, but I don't need to. Use some mushrooms, white ones, I don't know, I think they're criminy. Champignons? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Oh, Blanco Organic Fresh. Fresh. Oh, uh, that's just French for mushroom. <clears throat> Some Satsumas. Oatmeal. Tomatoes. Celery, which that's all I have. I'm not a big fan of it, so I'm going to just throw it all in. Here's the vessel, the Vitamix Turbo Blend VS compatible thing. Um, I'm going to throw all those in there. It's just a planters and mix nut mix. I think that's the only thing along with those that I'm not totally sure are organic. I've got the knife for cutting some stuff. Um, Cranberries from the Chico Natural Food Co-op, Organic Girl 50 Fix 50 Mixed Spring, and Baby Spinach, and some sesame seeds. So, <clears throat> first we're going to do some satsumas. And then I think we'll put some tomatoes in there, followed by carrots and mushrooms, and celery, oatmeal, mixed nuts, and sesame seeds, cranberries, with some greens every so often. It's good to make them pretty even mixture up and down. You want to start with like watery things like citrus and tomatoes um, just to give your blender a little help. So I'm going to start loading up some satsumas. I got this one from a friend so I'll put that in first. Thank you Joe. With uh, citrus, I've heard that you shouldn't compost it, but I think you shouldn't compost a lot of it ever so often. It's going to compost somewhere, so it might as well be in your backyard. So maybe put a separate pile of citrus if you don't want it going into your regular pile and acidifying. I don't think it's that bad though. So I did one and I'm doing number two. They're so easy. Ugh. Yeah, these are Cape Satsuma Organic Mandarins out of Orland. Orland's about a 20 miles perhaps. You can bike there from Chico in a few hours. They're locally grown. Pretty sure, I don't know about the water use on it, but I guess I can find out. <clears throat> I'm just going to put a few more in and then I'm going to cut some tomatoes. Tomatoes I got were from the co-op. They were loose by the pound. Pretty sure they were pretty local. I know they're organic. I'm gonna find one. I thought there was one that was kind of soft, so I'm gonna use that one first. This is a little soft. I had everything in my fridge 
few days ago because the bug people came through and we're gonna put everything um, we're gonna poison the whole place so I decided not to let them poison my food but they seemed cool they just came through and hit the corners so I'm just gonna like quarter sixth of these maybe I'll do eights and I should have probably washed it but oh well I'll wash the next one Three mandarins and two tomatoes fill it about half up. So I'm gonna put some of this uh, lettuce in there. This is also from the co-op, but it's a national brand, I'm pretty sure. Organic Girl. It says it's been washed, but why not? So this will be the first layer of greens because I got to use this stuff up because it's getting wilty and watery. What I say next? Uh, I'm gonna throw these tomatoes back in the bag for another. Smoothie, probably tomorrow. Now I'll do carrots. These are Bunny Love Organic. I don't know where they're from. Bakersfield. Bakersfield. That's not bikeable, but whatever. I try to cut carrots into smaller than the top of your thumb. Maybe a little bigger is alright, but you want to make sure your blender. doesn't get blocked up from it. Add the nuts. So I don't have to have that around anymore. The celery are from the Salinas Valley. I know that area well. I've driven through there and done cell phone testing. Kind of like the Ryzen guy, whatever. Washed those a little. They were probably washed, but. No harm in washing things more. Duda. The name is Duda. The farmer or processor or whatever of these celeries. And I want to get everything in there. But I'm not going to be able to finish off everything that I wanted to. That's fine though. These mushrooms are actually from another country, Canada, but still. They're organic as well. I'm going to rinse them a little. 
they might be a little um, They might be a little slimy when you wash them, but that's fine. It's just how they are. As long as they're not too old and like smushy. They can be slimy, but not smushy, I think. Depending on the mushroom. And don't trust anything I say. That's silly. I'm not a mycologist. Just read the internet or something. All right. Now we'll just put some oatmeal and cranberries in it. Cranberries will really help with this taste and the sweetening of it. The oranges will too. And the tomatoes might help that a little. But mostly the oranges and cranberries. I don't know where they're from. But they're from the co-op, so hopefully they're the best sourced. Maybe not totally sustainable, but whatever. I'm going to put a handful of these sesame seeds in too. They are not shelled, so that gives you a little more um, fiber. Fiber is good for you. Maybe about two handfuls of those. I'll do a few handfuls of this oatmeal. It's dried. That'll give you some fiber too. All right, so here we got it. It's starting from the bottom, some mandarins, up to some tomatoes that you can see, some mixed greens with spinach, carrots, nuts, celery, um, mushrooms, sesame seeds, come on, and cranberries and oats. Now all I'm going to do is put some water in there. as much as possible because water is the lubricant to let the whole thing actually grind up you do want to put the dry stuff on top that'll allow it to wet as it goes down to the blade and you can see it's bubbling up now now you want to stop it about there. Sometimes, not in this one, you can see it's pocket and sometimes you need to loosen it. But we're about to start the blender up. Now I'm putting the Hop onto the Vitamix. Remove this knife because that's dangerous. And make sure I 
put all that stuff back away. <clears throat> Alright, so I've got it on the lowest. I'm just going to turn it on and keep it on variable. Let it go low first and then speed it up from there. Alright, here we go. On. And here it's pretty slow. You can see that it's just getting the bottom um, tomatoes and some greens are mixing up now with the uh, Satsuma mandarins. I'm speeding it up a little. There goes some nuts you can hear. Always good to do this over a sink, just in case. It's not bad. I know it's healthy. That's what really matters. So yeah, I would definitely do this again. So it was, it ended up being three satsumas, three tomatoes, three carrots, four mushrooms, a handful of mixed greens, handful of sesame seeds, handful of oats, some cranberries, some nuts, and I didn't use the peanut butter or the apples. The apples would have made it a little sweeter, but that'll be next time, and I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching, and have a good year. I hope to be doing this this year because smoothies are like good for you. They're pre-digested, so the nutrients go straight to your... Um, bloodstream without like having to like chew and break it down with your stomach acids so yeah do this have a good one peace